Hello Capricorn. This is your reading for December 2019. It is the full Celtic cross. And it is for Capricorn. Those born in the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm looking for new energies and um, hopefully positive energies. Um, as you know, this will not resonate with all Capricorns, but I hope to reach the majority. And I also will be giving you a love reading at the very end. So this is for Capricorn, full Celtic cross. Like I said, new energies, positive energies for Capricorn, or hopefully positive energies. If we don't get a positive energy, we work through it. We always do. You know? What is the coming in energy? And the beginning energy, I should say. The lovers in reverse. Some of you are dealing with a lover situation that kind of uh, is not feeling so right. You know? Current environment could be the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very positive energy. Um, if it's a person, it'll be a water sign, but it also could be that somebody is coming to give you a cup of love, a cup of friendship, gifts, just kindness. It's also known to me, when I get this reading, if I ever have it in a reading, something always good comes out of it. So, current environment, and, it's, and what's crossing it, or what's involved in it, is a disappointment situation. So, it looks like something's coming in, even though you were disappointed in something else, maybe something disappointed you, someone's going to make up for it. Because with the uh, Five of Cups, what the story with that is, people are always seeing the negatives. They just see what everything that just crumbled or spilt over around them. And there's always two full cups behind them that they just can't see that's still full and waiting for them to take. So it looks like something positive is coming in for Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles, what crowns you or your goal? I'm thinking it could be what crowns you is the beginning of a stable situation. Um, usually it brings in long-term stability, whatever it is, something beginning. Um, the foundation is the judgment. It is in the upright. And that means you're going to make a final decision or something, or someone's going to make a final decision towards you. In the past, there wasn't a decision being made. Someone refused to make a decision, or they were him hauling around, you know, putting it off. In the very near future, you're going to keep your options open. Even you know, Seven of Cups is being offered to you. <clears throat> but you may turn all these options down and go in for just for the good things. You are getting good things coming. Something really good and stable. Something positive of a positive moment. And you're making a decision to do it. But you're not going to accept confusing offers. Because they will be offered to you. You'll be getting good offers and not so good offers. But you're keeping your situation open for the, good, for the Knight of Cups. For the Ace of Pentacles. And making a final decision to do so. Strength. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is keep strong and strength will come in. The things that will bring you uh, energy, the things that will bring good things to you to so where you can handle life better. What is coming towards you as the outside environment, in other words, this is what's causing all this on the outside. It's coming in. Um, the reason is because you didn't get your Ten of Cups or it wasn't coming in the way you wanted them to. It's the outside environment. So you were disappointed in something, and it probably was the Ten of Cups, and the fact that you're not accepting any offers that aren't good. You have hope in your hopes and fears, a star card. And sometimes when you use this card, okay, Capricorn, it's almost like you make a wish. You know, wish upon a star. It's not the, the wish card, but it's really close, okay? My outcome is the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you'll be dealing with an emotional situation. You'll be dealing with an emotional person. It's not that this person is bad, or anything like that. It's just that it may be a little over emotional. You'll be dealing with them. It could be because you're making a final decision to do something to regain strength, and you're not going to accept offers that aren't working for you. You are going. You are going to take another offer that is coming in that is positive. But at the same time, you you are doing away with the negative situations because you're going for your Ace of Pentacles. Now I'm going to clarify it. You know when I clarify this, it could change the whole story up. So. Stick with me and we'll do the love reading after this. It's strictly to do with mostly love. Now you got the Knight of Cups as the, you know, subject at hand, the Five of Cups that's crossing it. You were disappointed in something even though you do not see what is coming in. That was the Queen of Swords. Um, so you get, some of you could be dealing with the air sign. But I need the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups crossing. I need two cards, please. And give me more information for... Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? 
King of Pentacles, it could be you trying to move on from a troubling situation. It looks like you will, but to do so, you got to put like the, the negative cup energy behind and go for the positive cup energy. You will be getting offered both. Right now, you don't feel real stable and secure as the current environment, but someone is, someone is offering you something. Someone's offering you a little relief. So hopefully you take it with the Six of Swords and move on from a troubling situation. What is crowning you is the Ace of Pentacles. I need two cards for Capricorn. Two cards for the Ace of Pentacles. What's crowning them or their goal? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles your goal? Because you had some things come in around you or were around you that were a little chaotic with the Knight of Wands in reverse. They weren't um, very stable. They were non-committal and just here, there, and everywhere. And what was attached to this Knight of Wands was the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So whatever what you had before, what you were doing before was not bringing you your beginning stability. So now you're going for something else and you're making, like I said, a final decision to do so. So more or less out with old things that weren't there that weren't you know sticking in your life and now you're going for the things that will stay around a while and, and bring in money and stability and you're making a final decision to do this okay and you need to make this final decision in the past you weren't <clears throat> so the judgment in the upright we need two cards for Capricorn two cards I'm trying to think what else this could be yeah, you're starting a whole new world. And even though um, people may try to resurrect the situation and try to get you to change your mind and try to tell you, um, no, don't do not do this what you're deciding to do with death in reverse. Don't put an end to it. But you're making a final decision to take on a whole new world to get, um, deal with karmic cycles and things that were no good and open a whole new world, like the world is your oyster type situation. The world is usually... a um, a yes card depends on who you're um, having you know read your cards for you but I know a lot of a lot of readers that consider the world card a good card because it's in the it's going in the right direction of where you need to be in reverse it would be like you're stuck and staying where you're at death in reverse I do feel like someone will try to change your mind but I don't think you're going to you maybe did in the past with the two of wands though in reverse it looks like you kind of him hauled around so the two of wands in reverse why are you there for a Capricorn in the past? What were you waiting on, huh? You're waiting on something before. Maybe you were trying to get something to work out, huh? Two two cards for the two of wands. In reverse, two cards, please. You were trying to do some give and take, but there was no growth in the situation. You were waiting for someone to work with you and you know weigh the scales, come to their senses, or someone was waiting for you with this, okay? I do feel like you are moving on from this situation because the Six of Swords is there. For some of you, you may actually move. You're looking for better horizons, things that will bring more stability, and you will be offered different situations and confusing offers or offers that are solid also, along with this King, Knight of Cups. But it looks like you're going to turn those down, okay? So, Seven of Cups in reverse. I need two cards for Capricorn. Two cards, please. King of Cups, you may be turning it down from them. They're, they're, yeah, the person you were dealing with in the past or, or situation it doesn't have to be a person, but it shows emotions are all not where they're, you want them to be with these offers with the King of Cups. Some of you be dealing with a water sign, and you are not going to accept any of these Seven of Cup offers. You are making a final decision in a whole new world, and someone is offering you something, and you are moving on from a troubling situation. But you also, like I said, have people offering you other things that you're saying um, no thanks to. Now you are regaining strength in the um, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. So I need two cards for the strength card for Capricorn. So you're going to have a little bit of complications. Yeah, you're regaining, you're regaining what you need. Okay, regaining strength. Like I said, the Nine of Pentacles, finances and um, independence, where you could afford to pay for you know your things yourself and you know live on your own means and um, get rid of out of control situations or over controlling people or whatever you know um, energies out there you're gonna overcome them you're gonna have strength you're gonna be able to deal with 
whatever you need to deal with to survive. Now the outside environment, or they say what is coming towards you or the outside environment is the Ten of Cups. I don't think, I think it's the outside environment. I see you going elsewhere with something. But the Ten of Cups um, in reverse is like whatever situation you were dealing with in the past was not bringing you your happily ever after. It wasn't the bringing in the things that you wanted. So the Ten of Cups has the outside environment. Give us more information of why it's not coming in, why it didn't come in, or what it was involved with it. Two cards, please. Yeah, you dropped a ball on something. Something that had to do with your home situation or family or celebrations or people used to celebrate with the four wands in reverse. Yeah, that outside environment was not bringing you the situation you wanted. So you did a two of pentacles in reverse energy. You dropped something because it wasn't bringing you happiness or you will be. Um, your hopes and fears is a star. You're looking for better things. You're wishing on better things. And you may be able to do this, like I said. So the star card in the upright and the hopes and fears for Capricorn. Why are you there? Yeah, you may get a little defensive. Speak your truth. You're hoping towards something, like I said. And you may, um, with the Seven of Wands, get a little defensive. And you also may be hoping or fearing that you may not be able to do it. But take good, you know, take care because it shows that you will if you really strive for it. Because you got the Page of Swords putting out your energy and going forward forcefully. Um, telling people what you're doing in some way. Now, in the end, you're dealing with the Queen of Cups. It could be, you know, some of the people you're telling, um, I can't accept this offer. I can't do what you want me to do. i got to do what I want me to do. And so someone, you may deal with someone who's getting a little over-emotional. It's not that they're bad people. It's just they're not going to be happy that you're not accepting a cup that they have to offer. And it could be because they don't realize that you have something else coming in. So you may want to, you know, clear that up. So the Queen of Cups in reverse, why are you there? Two cards for Capricorn in the very end. Okay, why are you there? Queen of Cups again, yeah, someone's not very, because they feel left out. Whatever you're doing, they're going to feel left out because you're going to get like a message of stability. Someone's going to maybe um, um, tell you something or give you a little um, whisper in your ear saying that something good is coming in and go ahead, accept our offer, go for the stable offers. That's what pentacles means, stable, stability, finances, material things that will bring you the things you want in your life, you know, contentment. But every, not everybody's going to be happy about it because they just don't understand it. It's not that, you know, they're bad people, okay? Just because a card is in reverse does not make them bad. It could be any reason. It could be just that they're just upset, you know? But it looks like you are regaining strength. The world is on your side, and new energies of stability are coming in and gaining finances. And over situations that were kind of out of control with the emperor in reverse, you're making a final decision to jump into something new, a whole new world, even though people are going to try to talk you out of it with death in reverse and you are moving on from a troubling situation you're going for your ace of pentacles now let's do the love reading okay good things are coming in strive for it try not to falter um strength is on your side so i'll be give you a love reading in just a second hold on hello capricorn this is your love re reading for capricorn sun moon and rising for december new energies for december 2019 for Capricorn. I need three cards for the love reading from the angels. Let us know something from the angels. Three cards, please. Three different sections, please, for Capricorn. I like to add these on because it, it just like goes for love, you know, where the others can go either or, you know, the other reading. It really depends on what the main energy is for all Capricorns. But this we're asking about love. <clears throat> so we need also three cards from the angels giving more um, answers to life, what they need to know about their love life or life in general. But this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, New Energies for December 2019. I need three cards, please, for Capricorn. Let's see. First pile. Very soon, perfect timing, okay? Uh, very soon something is coming in, but it, it's got to be perfect timing. Know um, when someone is going to approach you that you may um, be romantically involved with. Make sure it's the right time. You flirt, 
Let them know how you feel. Have romance with this per person when they do come in. Okay? And they will want to flirt and, you know, have a little romantic session with you. But like I said, it's all in perfect timing. It'll happen when it's supposed to. And then you may actually have a commitment with this person. Your love life is ascending to a higher level, okay, of commitment, for real. And listen to your intuition. If you feel this person is right for you, like a soulmate type situation, um, listen to yourself. Don't scare yourself off. Don't get you know, all upset and paranoid over it. I did see in your last reading where you'll be getting good offers and not so good offers. Listen to your intuition. Which one is the good offer? I'm pretty sure you will know what it is. So yeah, very soon someone is coming into your life. It's actually perfect timing when they do. They'll be flirting with you. It'll be a little romance. You'll be flirting with them. And then later on, you'll decide, hey, I want Want to be with this person and it'll feel right okay it'll feel perfect and i'll talk to you later capricorn I'll upload this soon okay bye